hiding in the bathroom, an introvert's roadmap to getting out there when you'd rather stay home. By Maura Ahrens Mealy. Many believe that to succeed business people must be extroverted, hard-charging movers and shakers who seldom sleep. However, the extrovert's playbook can be counterproductive in business. Introverts can thrive in business, even though they dislike social settings and big crowds and prefer to be alone. Successful introverts organize their place, pace and space to best suit their needs. Introverts can turn their anxiety into a business asset. The gift of anxiety, when leveraged correctly, supplies special skills introverts can exploit to their advantage. You don't have to network excessively to succeed. As for attending business events, don't, but you can tweet about them. Introverts should take short breaks for alone time to recharge during the workday. The work environment needs to catch up with introverts. Summary Superstar extroverts. Common wisdom says business success requires getting out in public and staying there. You must do deals. You must network and press the flesh. You must eat lunch every day with someone important. You must speak at seminars and conferences. The same common wisdom says that the people who get ahead have brilliant personalities and megawatt smiles. As Facebook COO Sheryl Sandberg famously advised, they lean in. They seldom sleep. They exhibit admirable grit. They are extroversion superstars. Introversion, anxiety and hiding in the bathroom are not weaknesses. They can, in fact, be the keys to your strength and success as a businessperson. But the common wisdom is wrong. Interviews with successful corporate leaders and entrepreneurs indicate something considerably different. They say there's another way to go and that many of the activities supposedly required for business success aren't essential at all. The Introvert Challenge The founder of a biotech firm that benefited from Series A financing says that when she attends conferences, she goes off by herself because she's so uneasy and, usually, crying. Another tech firm leader, a former Wall Street banker, has to take beta blockers for public speaking. What if you became the kind of success you wanted to be? What if you could enjoy the everyday of your work life? Author and entrepreneur Maura Ahrens Mealy, founder of a marketing firm with numerous employees, describes herself as a hermit entrepreneur and an extreme introvert. She takes Xanax before speaking in public. Facilitating meetings exhausts her. She suffers panic attacks in the presence of strangers. Before she started her own firm, she often called in sick to avoid the stress of being with other people at work. She always tried to work from home to avoid dealing with colleagues. Despite this anxiety, she's the primary sales driver of her business. Being a successful introvert is allowing emotions to be an opportunity to gain knowledge and to make them work for you. Erin's Mealy has created a menu of strategies that enable her to hack her way through a business day successfully. She refers to these techniques under the umbrella of hiding in the bathroom. One technique is to plan numerous short breaks during the day, some shorter than five minutes. She finds she needs this alone time to recharge her batteries and to prepare psychologically for upcoming interactions. Are you an introvert? Does maneuvering through the business world every day make you intensely uncomfortable? If so, try some of these strategies. Among other things, you can stop most, but not all, of that diligent networking. You can cut business development activities to the minimum. You can pretty much stop getting out there and begin to huddle down in your office instead. You can still make plenty of income while enjoying a pleasant, relatively stress-free introverted life. We conflate leadership with fearlessness, and we are quick to ignore or reject anxiety as a sign of weakness. But, fear is a powerful clue, and anxiety can be a gift. 
you can develop a strong professional niche and digital footprint, though it may mean you need to recalibrate expectations and cut back on your career and income goals. If you freelance, raise your prices slightly. You'll still have to network occasionally, but far more judiciously than before, to build your business slowly and steadily. By consuming ever higher levels of broadcast, digital and social media, we've come to believe the impossible. Get in touch with your emotions to make them work for you, not against you. Learn to nurture your introversion. As you gain in self-knowledge, you will begin to regard the anxiety that plagues you as your business partner. You can conceptualize ways to use the gift of anxiety, which, when leveraged correctly, gives introverts special skills they can exploit to their advantage. And it's common, clinical anxiety affects around 10% of people in North America, Western Europe and Australia, New Zealand, and about 8% in the Middle East and 6% in Asia. If you're an anxious introvert, in conflict over where you belong in the rat race, an Instagram picture can turn into a dagger. Hiding in the bathroom means taking good care of your whole being. Hold onto the personal boundaries that work for you instead of striving for unrealistic open borders that are great for extroverts, but not for you. Ultimately, this means developing and living by rules you design for your comfort that fit your preferences and lifestyle, rather than trying to live according to rules better suited to extroverts. FOMO and Achievement Porn the fear of missing out, or FOMO, is a modern-day anxiety that demotivates many people on and offline. FOMO plagues introverts. An Instagram picture of people having fun can make introverts turn on themselves. They see the people enjoying themselves and wonder why they aren't in that photo, when in reality, they made the choice to stay home. When you fake it, suddenly you're all about reaching someone else's goals instead of working toward achieving your own. FOMO is a specious fear. Instead of worrying about other people getting ahead, achieving things, taking part in group activities, giving TED Talks, offering keynote speeches, lining up new clients and doing other great things, introverts can learn to be content with themselves and with what they achieve. Jealousy never accomplishes anything for introverts or extroverts. You can learn and practice the skills you need to achieve a version of success that's right for you. Achievement porn is closely related to FOMO. It's the flashy image you see when you run into narcissistic people who seek glory for their accomplishments and want to make sure people know about their rising star. These achievement porn stars spread the word about their successes on social media, blogs, Facebook posts, tweets, and more. You can grow your business, build your career and do the work you love while still making room for outside interests. Introverts can immunize themselves against achievement porn by keeping a simple truth in mind, publicity doesn't pay the bills. Nor do speeches, Facebook displays or party scene Instagram pictures. Be aware that a great deal of what shows up online is based on fakery. Getting swept up in fetishized online and offline pursuits isn't wise for introverts. Instead, set your sights on realistic goals you can conquer, definitive accomplishments that make sense for you. It's not sexy to develop slowly. But hermit professionals know the truth, it's better. Introverts often fall prey to struggling to reach goals other people set for them. Protect yourself against that pitfall by being mindful about what you want for yourself. The introvert's success techniques. If you're an introvert in the business world, heed these suggestions. Lean in less Sandberg's lean-in concept advises you to work hard, stay hungry and grow quickly. Yes, you should work hard, but on your own terms and at a pace that makes sense to you. Think of this as a lean-in compromise, a leaning out. Follow the work-life balance path that fits you. People have individual preferences for how they want to integrate their work and their personal life. 
The gift of anxiety business success supposedly requires fearlessness. If that's true, where does it leave fearful introverts? Try viewing your anxiety, fear made manifest, as your constant companion. Accept its presence and use it to manage your schedule and workload. Turn your anxiety into a powerful motivator. Loving your inner hermit to achieve maximum efficiency, business hermits need space and alone time. These qualities might be at the top of your wish list. If you are more comfortable as a hermit, make your wish list a reality. Organize the place, pace and space of your work and your life to suit you. Vision Quest Do you have a vision for your business? According to research involving 2,631 CEOs of million-dollar firms, having a vision is the most important qualifier for business success. Think of your vision as the core set of principles that ties your work and your personal life together. Consider a vision that gives you room to be happy and imperfect. Setting boundaries in business, people want to hear yes all the time. That's great for extroverts who love agreeing to everything, including cocktail parties, business socials, master of ceremony assignments, you name it. But yes isn't great for introverts who want to avoid the social hoopla and do their work. To maintain your peace of mind, learn to say no and to set boundaries for yourself. For this to work, you have to tune in to your anxieties to figure out where you will function well and where you won't. Time is on your side. Take charge of your time. The more you control your time, the more satisfaction you will feel. One time control method is to leapfrog, work in short, intense bursts, and use the downtime that follows each burst to recharge your batteries. You can cluster your day by allotting scheduled times for your most essential, revenue generating work, for example 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. and 2 p.m. to 4.30 p.m. Schedule other times for less important tasks. Block out a specific time every day to decompress totally. Go niche, according to Georgetown University professor Cal Newport, the market rewards things that are rare and valuable. Thus, establishing a niche for yourself is a wise business move. Find something special that you do superlatively well, so you can exhibit singular know-how and expertise. For instance, go online with a digital brand that delivers a strong narrative to engage, excite and compel your targeted niche market. The Hermit Entrepreneur You don't have to be an extrovert to start and run a business. Introverts can excel in this area. Setting up a new business can be an immensely satisfying undertaking for an introvert. As a boss, the introvert can organize everything to for his or her maximum personal comfort and to accommodate any personal hermit tendencies. As the business owner and the leader, the hermit entrepreneur can keep travel, networking and extracurricular activities to a minimum. The corporate hermit, when you work for a large business, holding on to your inner hermit can become difficult. To be happy inside a corporation, introverts need a certain amount of control over their daily work schedules. Fortunately, technology and changing corporate norms make it more feasible now than ever for employees, including hermits, to work from home, at least part-time. Big companies increasingly offer flexible hours. Sell like yourself in the play and film Glengarry Glen Ross, the obnoxious sales superstar played by Alec Baldwin tells the beaten down salesman who must listen to his snarky spiel, always be closing. This is the only way the Baldwin character knows how to sell. But it isn't the only way to do it well. You don't have to be a rapacious shark to be a successful salesperson. Introverted salespeople can be secret weapons for their companies. Empathy sells, and introverts are naturally empathetic. Craftsmanship, pride and dedication to excellence, which can be introvert traits, also sell. For sales success, always be yourself. Claim your negotiation style. Contrary to popular belief, negotiation is not always a zero-sum game in which one party wins and the other doesn't. 
That's the alpha dog school of negotiation. Introverts don't need it. Since they are often well attuned to their own emotions, as well as to the feelings of others, introverts can be effective negotiators. Use a collaborative strategy with two goals, getting a reasonable deal for yourself and making sure the other party feels like a winner. Networking for hermits super connectors are the secret to networking, for extroverts, for introverts, for everyone. They have extensive social networks and are generous about referring appropriate contacts to others. You may not find super connectors among your close friends. They're more likely to be acquaintances, or, in social networking parlance, people with whom you have only weak ties. Getting out there when you have to, even the social dynamos you see delivering keynote speeches, heading up conference breakout sessions and charming people at parties occasionally also hide out in the bathroom. Some people are temporary extroverts who can tap brief bursts of psychic energy when they have to be on stage. But if you really hate business events, don't go. Employ an events hashtag and tweet instead. Alone time. Much more than other people, introverts need alone time. Smart, successful introverts pay close attention to the important patterns in their lives. They plan accordingly, remaining true to themselves and taking the breaks they need. It is especially hard to achieve in a traditional career ladder scenario if you are an introvert and if you need more control over your space, pace, and place of work than others. In their words and actions, successful introverts pay allegiance to their essential nature, even though it's hard to ignore pushback from managers, clients and colleagues. In fact, the work environment needs to catch up with introverts. Successful introverts organize their lives so their office space, schedule and duties work for them. They understand that introversion doesn't have to be a weakness or a curse. It can be a strength, the impetus that enables them to develop holistically and triumphantly, while succeeding in the world of work. About the author. Maura Ahrens Mealy founded and leads Women Online, an award-winning digital marketing agency focusing on mobilizing women.